couple of years ago, I was just really bored with graffiti. I was really bored with static walls. It's like I didn't have the motivation to go do another wall. And also I was like playing with the idea of what it meant to have my work seen online more than in real life. More people are going to see it on Instagram than are actually going to see the real wall. I wanted to make my work live online a lot better than it lived in real life. The process of making a GIF or graffiti is um, painting the wall, then you have to photograph it, paint it some more, move every element a little bit, photograph it, paint it again, move every element, photograph it. And then once you have these stills, you overlay these photos and it, it animates. It's mainly about painting and repainting and repainting. Every time I start a new one, I'm psyched and hyped to get going. But then as soon as I'm in it, I'm like, I've got a long, a long road ahead of me. And that's probably the hardest bit. And the rain. A few paintings I've done, I've been really obsessive about the background being perfect. I shot at the same day, at the same time, to have exactly the same light, the same shadows. I'm not trying to make this clean computer generated image. I'm trying to make this hand painted speeding up of time. As soon as I've mentioned who the mural's for, people are psyched. Wade is the man. He, uh, he obviously carries a lot of weight around here. Yeah, he's loved by this community, I think. And, and I think that's because he gives back to this community. They really appreciate him. I like the fact that the wall is a very positive message, really. It's like, when I first talked about the project and they told me the line and how Wade saw it and how he was cutting his own path, it resonated with me. I really, I feel like I've lived my life like that. And so the fact that that's Wade's tagline really appealed to me, really made me want to write it.